Good afternoon, everyone. It is our understanding that these creatures arrived here on Earth from the hundreds of asteroids that entered the atmosphere approximately three weeks ago. A worldwide joint coordination effort is on the way to collect and dispose of these creatures properly. So, so as, you, as you can see, the parasite attaches itself to the neck and then inserts these two long proboscides into the neck up the neural pathway into the brain with microscopic thread-like fibers that the parasite uses to eventually take over the, the brain activity of the host and then control it. Control it. Are an epidemic and they need to be exterminated. No, no, no. There is no evidence that these latchers are a threat to any of us. Of course there is. Okay, people are not the same once they're infected. They're not the same person. Outrage today at a Castleberry Middle School when for the first time a student came to class with a parasite attached to her neck. I feel the same. I just don't understand why everybody keeps bothering me. Can we see the parasite? <laughs> Parasite is in control, not the individual. Once a person has made the decision to host a latcher, all of their rights are appropriated to that latcher. At this point, the latcher is a person, just like you, just like me, just like all of us. All the authorities immediately. In the three months that the first parasite had been seen in the United States, more and more people have converted to what some are now calling a cult. Those who belong to the cult voluntarily allow the parasite to latch onto their neck claiming it gives them enlightenment and allows them to pass through a higher level of existence. Parasites are putting parasites on other people without their consent. Okay, are we rolling? People are embracing them. These things are manipulative, okay? They're taking over and need to be stopped. There's no takeover. This is Becky Fisher no from the Lab from Emergency There's Broadcast. No the infected have started to attack the humans. This is nothing. There's terror in the city. If you want to survive, leave the city now. Now go find the safe zone. Nothing more than plain and simple fear mongering. The latchers are perfectly harmless. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. What the hell was all that? What the hell was what? You opened fire at first sight. What happened to waiting for orders? Look, man, I'm just trying to kill these fuckers. These people are not dead. They're infected. And we will find a cure. Stop taking advantage of every chance you get to kill them. You're putting us all in danger. Down, boys! Great. What's our status? Curry, Gregory, and Nelson are gone. Along with three volunteers. The radio's busted. Thank you. Listen up. We're just gonna take us to our objective. You guys follow suit, and I'll cover our six. Got it? Got it. Yeah. All right, Briggs, find us a way out of here. Make it happen. Follow me.
You have to reach the objective. I'm not leaving you. I'll be fine. Go. Reese, we have to go. Oh. You have to finish the mission. Oh. Fucking hell. I thought they said this would be simple. If you would have kept your cool, it might have been simple. It wouldn't just be the three of us here, that's for damn sure. Spare me the judgment, will ya? I am just trying to kill these creatures and win this thing. What are you doing? Trying to save them all to get your wife and kid back? I got news for you. No one comes back from this. Your wife and kid are gone. You don't fucking know that. Yes, I do! Aren't you tired of taking orders as a volunteer just to get taken by some parasite? Fuck these soldiers, man! They don't give a shit about us! Let me ask you this, Wilson. What happens when you're the only one left, huh? When you've watched us all get taken and they come for you? This isn't about us against you. It's about not forsaking your humanity. A lot of good men died out there today, okay? Military and volunteer. Now roger the fuck up and start acting like part of the team or I'll put you down myself. Let's move. Got it. Calvin, come with me. Wilson, stay put. Anything tries to get in, kill it. Got it. Dr. Theodore Fredericks. He's our mission. Was our mission. Apparently he found a cure and his team got ambushed here. Looks like he killed himself just before he got infected. What do we do now? Christ, man. You okay? What do you want me to do? Oh, fuck. Hi. Uh, my name is Dr. Theodore Fredericks, and as you can see, I am not infected. If you're watching this video right now, you're here for a cure. I am confident because I found a very intriguing discovery in the blood of this young girl that I think will be the key to our cure. Uh, Tessa, could you come here, please? As you can see, this young woman has been a host to this parasite for 
several months now and she has shown no signs of the parasite taking control of her brain. I want to stress that I have run several diagnostic tests on her and there is absolutely no evidence that this parasite is controlling her. She is not a danger to you. Let me stress that. She is no danger to you, but please protect her with your lives. She is, she, she's our only hope. Godspeed. Are you in here, girl? If you're in here, it's time to come out. How do I know you won't try to kill me? Come here, right now! I couldn't stop. Tessa, is it true what the doctor said? That you have a parasite, but you're not infected? Yes, it's true. Okay, good. I need you to come out of there so we can bring you to safety. What are you doing? This girl is the cure. If we don't save her, all this would have been for nothing. She could be one of them. I'm not willing to take that risk. The doctor said she the, wasn't. The doctor is dead. Even if he was alive, he would have taken her with us anyway. It's the same risk. What other choice do we have anyway? Tessa, please come out. We're here to rescue you. We're soldiers, I promise. You're safe. Stay with me, I'll protect you. Let's grab Wilson and get the hell out of here. John! I told you I'd be all right. <sighs> won't shoot. He's still in here. You love him too much. But it kills you to know he never felt the same about you. You think you're so smart? But look deeper and you'll see a promise that we made to each other. The promise I intend to keep. Long before they try to find another way around. Tessa, help her. I'm gonna try and find us a way out of here. Calvin! <laughs> Make sure you put on your seatbelt. Calvin, take this. Listen, listen to me. There's a commander back at the safe zone. Commander Reeves. Make sure he gets it. And tell him. And tell him he was right. Tell him I wasn't afraid. You, you tell him yourself when we get back. <laughs> but I'm not gonna make it back. I've done all I can, okay? But now you have to see the mission through. Understand? Yes, yes. You've given me hope, Calvin. Hope that we don't have to forsake our humanity to save the world. I couldn't have done it without you. I'm 
help him save your family. It's only a matter of time before they spread to everyone. That's why we have to fight back. We have to find a way to defeat them. I'm here because I'm humanity's last hope. A chance for survival. I am the cure. I am the cure.